Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Power of Property Portals webinar. My name is Ivan Rook. I'm a serial entrepreneur, investor, speaker and a business strategist and I am so excited about today and about this webinar. As a business strategist I know there's something called leverage. Now before we move on, I want to say thank you to Private Property for making me be a part of today. And I'm so excited. The reason for this is because this webinar is brought to you by Private Property. And what I've seen with online platforms and online portals, especially in the property industry, as an investor, how these things assist me to get to a place where we can scale and use a thing called leverage. Now, we'll get to that shortly. Probably you are a real estate agent listening tonight, or maybe you're just, uh, just an investor, you are an investor. But comment in the section where you're listening from or where you're looking from, right? If you tune in from whichever city or town in South Africa, maybe up in Africa, maybe abroad, please comment that in sections below. We would love to chat to you today and if you have any questions during the webinar please post your questions right if something sounds strange or funny you might have a question on one of the platforms we'll be discussing please post your questions we would love to answer the questions for you right so I want to say welcome I believe everybody is already tuned in and online so I'm going to start with the formalities because I don't want you to miss a thing. So I want to make sure that you get as much value as possible. I know a lot of real estate agents will be looking or listening and participating tonight. And I know you're wondering, how can you increase your sales, right? Your monthly sales, your annual sales. We know in sales month end, you normally year to zero. That's the industry of sales. But there are many things that you can do to increase your sales, right? And also your brand. What can you do to really establish and build that brand of yours, whether you're agency or whether you're a single agent? Because you have a personal brand as well, right? You want to make sure that you know how to build that brand. And then obviously, how can you become and set yourself out as an expert in your industry or in your area or in your neighborhood? One of the portals we'll be speaking tonight about will have such an in-depth section which is called neighborhoods. If you stay in a specific neighborhood, if you do a deep dive in your neighborhood and know what is it that makes your neighborhood sell, right? You heard that correctly. What is it that makes your neighborhood sell? Why do people stay in your neighborhood? You want to make sure to know what exactly that is so that you can sell that to the next person that wants to move into your neighborhood. And then obviously, how can you lift your status as a real estate agent? What do I mean with that? Well, the area or the city that I stay in, there's about three agents that I can specifically name that if I buy my next place in my area, those three are the first ones that comes to mind. And why is that? Because they've built a specific name for themselves. What is their status like? I know if I deal with this specific person, I'm going to get a certain level of results or certain level of service, right? And how can you do that as well? So I be believe everybody's now tuned in already. So I want to say welcome for those of you who came in a bit later from my intro. My name is Evan Rook and I'll be spending the next few minutes or investing them with you. So tonight we are speaking about online portals specifically for properties, right? So there's three specific ones that I quickly want to share with you a few things that I've seen and that I've used that assisted me in building a better property portfolio. Now, what's the first thing you want to do when you learn something new? You want to get the right information, right? So you need to understand a few things if you really want to get good at something. Now, the first thing obviously is, do you really understand the product that you are selling, right? So if I'm selling a specific house, I want to make sure that I have is as much information about that house or that property as possible, right? And also then which market that I'm selling to. So in the in this case, the neighborhood, what neighborhood is it, what neighborhood is it in? Is there a specific market that I'm selling to if it's specific unit, right? And then the industry, what do I know about the property industry? 
What do I really know about the property industry? Do I only get my information about the property industry from Uncle Fricky at the Bry, right? We all have that family member at the Bry that always knows any everything, right, about rugby politics and property investment, right? Is that good? And we base our decisions on that. So where do we find our information regarding the industry? And then lastly, your client or your customer or your prospective client. How well do you know them? Do you know what makes them tick? Do you know how they base their decisions when they buy or when they want to rent? Those are really important things. So we first want to get more information. So let's use an example. The first one I mentioned, the product. What is the product that I'm selling or leasing? And where can I find more information? And what I love about the following one we're going to talk about, which is our first online portal we're going to discuss, and you'll see I've got my PC right here. So it's online and I'm on their website right now. And you can tune right into their website right now if you have your PC next to you. And the first one is TPN Credit Bureau, right? You, most of you have probably heard of TPN. If you have not, go onto their website immediately and have a look and see what they are about. So TPN is an online portal that assists you in finding better information, right? Whether it's on tenants, whether it's on a seller, whether it's on a unit, maybe a property unit, or you need information regarding an area. So if you go onto their, on, on, onto their website, you'll see there's a section where they give you a breakdown of what they do. I'm just gonna mention a few. The first one is credit checks, right? If you have a tenant and you want to uh, vet a tenant, you wanna make sure that it's someone that's gonna pay, right? So what's nice about this is you can obviously then vet the tenant to see how good or how bad the credit score is. Do they pay the people they promised they're going to pay? You want to make sure on that. So credit checks, qualification checks, payment profile, rental reports, ID verification, criminal checks, really important, especially specific areas may be right. And then uh, training and support, deeds checks, account verification, online invoices, and online adverts. So I'm going to get back to the word that I called leverage. So if you are a single agent or a single agent within an agency, or you may be a small agency, how do we scale our business? You want to make sure to use leverage. And the way we use leverage is by using things that gives us um, more effectiveness with less effort, right? So an online platform like this, how would you do a criminal check 20 years ago or 30 years ago, right? There's probably a big process that you had to go through. Now you can go onto a website, type in an applicant's details and see, are they a good payer? How did they do at the previous place where they rented, right? Really important information. And that gives you that leverage. You can sit at home and you can get all this information without moving a meter. So that's some of the stuff that TPN does. Or oh, I'm saying some of the stuff, it's really comprehensive. But what makes this powerful is now you have the right information to go and vet someone. You have the right information to make sure that the person that you put into your next place that you rent out, it's going to decrease your occupancy rate or your, your vacancy rate, right? Sorry, it's going to increase your occupancy rate. You want to make sure that you get your places booked as full as possible. And this helps with that, making sure that you're vetting the right places. What I love about TPN, and we use the information in our property seminars as well, is their reports. So they have lease agreements that you can download as well, HR documents, investor reports, which is really important. If you are serious about investing in property, you want to make sure that you have the right information, that you apply it in the correct manner, and then actually apply it. That's going to help you to grow. And then they have property reports. Now, what's important for me about this is we spoke about industry and market earlier. If you want to make sure that you buy in the right place and get the right tenants in as well, you want to make sure that you pull their reports and see what kind of tenants in what income bracket or what tenant, what rental bracket are the best payers. They have those reports. They help us a lot. And I presume and I know that they're going to help you a lot as well. The second one we're going to go into is Windeed. All right. So it's Lexus Windeed. 
but you can just type in windeed.co.za. That's their website. What I love about Windeed is they really specialize in a property um, report. So a specific property. So let's say you're looking at a property in 17 George Liber Street, Hamilton, right? Uh, the reason why I know the address, it's the address we have. Um, let's say you type in that address and you can go and specifically select a property or an ARF or a plot or a unit that you actually want to buy and you can go and draw all their deeds information. You download the report from their website and you only also pay for what you download, which I love. So you go specifically to a specific property and you download that report and that report will show you what their property sold for the previous times, who the previous property owner was, maybe it was owned in an entity, maybe it was an individual person. It will show you the current owner as well, and it will show you obviously the previous history. So now you can go and have a look and see, this property is now on the market for 1.6 million Rand. It was sold the previous time for, let's say 600,000. The reason why I'm saying that is, that property maybe has been in the previous owner's uh, possession for the last 18 or 25 years. And they have no idea how much that property is actually worth now. So it's, yes, there's a property valuation based on it and it's now on the market for 1.6. But the property owner selling the property does maybe not know is if someone offers me 1.4, I can still accept it, right? Because I technically made 800,000 rand. So for them, it's a benefit. They may be a motivated seller, something we speak about a lot. If you really want to understand motivated sellers, join one of the events we'll be discussing soon. But once you have this information, you can sell your products better, you can market them better, and you can also list them better, which is really important because all of you know, based on the market circumstances, based on industry, there is a leeway on how people view a specific property and the value of that property based on the listing price. So you also want to make sure that there is that obviously that little bit of a buffer when you want to negotiate, right? But most of you already know this, but this is the place to go to draw the deeds, to draw that information and that um, property report to make sure that you have better information to list better, to sell better and to negotiate better, right? It's really important. Then I just quickly want to share with you one last thing when it comes to Windeed is once you've downloaded this report, obviously it is in your position. So what you now can do is if you are strategic about it, you can use this report to sit down with your potential seller when you do the listing to explain to them if you understand the industry and you understand the market, you coach your client or your prospective client that this is why we want to go with this valuation on this listing. But once you have this report, it's a professional report that comes from their offices. So what's nice about this is it's something that you don't suck out of your thumb, right? And your prospective client or client also sees that. So it's really puts you on a different level when it comes to professionalism, right? I hope that makes sense. It ties into your status as well. So imagine you pitch up at your prospective client's offices or at his house and you come with different reports, right? It's not you telling them, sir or ma'am, your property is maybe only this worth right now. It's not that you don't want to value it higher because we all know sellers, sellers always want to value their property as high as possible. But when you have this, it's a great baseline to work from and to have a sit down and discuss that with them. And that will also set you apart because you come prepared and you look like an expert. Then our third and final online portal we're going to discuss. And this is the one I absolutely love the most. It's the one from private property. So you go into privateproperty.co.za's website and there's also an app. Now, before we get to the online platform, I quickly want to discuss the app. The first time I downloaded the app, it blew me away. The reason for that is I love scrolling through properties, right? So the same with social media. If you're a serious property investor or maybe a real estate agent, instead of spending the time on social media, 
Yes, there is time for that. But scroll through property um, properties to make sure that you understand not just on your market, but you, re uh, you reiterate information in different areas. So let's say you're looking at a specific neighborhood, right? You want to make sure that you know what is the average prices in that uh, neighborhood, what's the average rental, because when someone phones you, a prospective client phones you, or when you do a listing, you already know a two bedroom, one bathroom place in this area will rent for this amount or it will sell for this amount. And the levies are roughly this normally in this area. You can do a proper calculation to explain to a prospective client that maybe wants to buy for investment. You want to make sure that you know what rental yield is and ROI is and IRR is. If you don't know these things, I will discuss later with you where you can learn these things. But once you know these things, it's so much better. It's put you in a section or in an area where you can sell so much better because your prospective client's going to know that in safe hands because you really know what you're talking about. Now, Private Properties app gives you the opportunity as an investor or someone who wants to, who wants to buy, right? If you are invested tonight listening, you select your filters in advance. What I mean with that? So you go onto the app and you select, I want to buy a two bedroom place, one bathroom apartment in London of Park in Bloemfontein. I'm using Bloom as an example. And it will automatically filter your search uh, feed for you for that specifics that you've filled in, right? And then when a new one is listed, it automatically pops up as a notification. So if you are a serious investor, get the app ASAP and make sure to put in your filters so that you are daily flushed or when those listings comes in, they automatically pop up at your notifications. You as an agent, that's a powerful tool to use, right? If you are the agent and you are selling the two bedroom, one bathroom place in London Park in Bloemfontein, you want to make sure that you fish in the pond where the fish is what you want to fish, right? So if you want to sell a two bedroom, one bathroom place in London Park, Bloemfontein, you want to make sure that your listing is on that app because it now qualifies and narrows your qualified leads for you just at a click of a few buttons, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. Now, the online portal, if you're on the website as an example, you'll see the first thing you'll see is the property investment seminar, which we'll discuss at the end of this webinar. But as you scroll down, there's a ocean of information. Why is this important? Now, the first thing is private property is the biggest online portal for property in Africa. Now, if I want to sell more products, right, in one of my other businesses, I want to make sure that I go where my market is. Now, you as a real estate agent, this is where your market is. This is where they live. Private property has more than 50 million views on their website, um, which is absolutely staggering. The reason why I'm sharing that is if I have to sell a house or I have to rent something out. This is well advertised. The reason for that is, is not only this is where your market is, but the amount of information that they have on their portal for you to grow as a real estate agent. So I mentioned the neighborhoods earlier, right? So they've got a specific section where you can go and learn more about neighborhoods and also get great information on your neighborhood. And maybe there's a neighborhood now that you're gonna list that you really don't know anything about great place to learn about it because it's also where your prospective buyers is going to click to understand but better about the neighborhood that they want to start buying in. Then property advice, there's so many things on you. You have a bond calculator. Now what I love about this is if I have to sell a unit, right, and I'm standing in, in this beautiful place, we're standing in the kitchen and the prospective buyer already decided emotionally and maybe rationally that this is the place they want to buy, but they are not sure how they're going to afford this place or can they afford the place. So you may be going to hear things like, well, we'll go to our bank and we'll find out and see if this will fit our budget, right? A lot of real estate agents will say, with all due respect, yes, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, or thank you, sir. You can go and do that and come back to me. Don't do that. If you have this, let's say your laptop or tablet open with you, you put it on the kitchen table 
and you select bond calculator on private properties website and as you select bond calculator within a few clicks you can literally put in all the information and you can do it in advance right before you do the showing you put in all the information in the bond calculator and you press calculate right there on the kitchen table and you will automatically show them ma'am sir if this is the amount we're looking at and this is the income that you have because there's also an affordability calculator you can right then right then snuff out the objection of we'll go and find that out you can already find that out live while you're doing the showing to help them make a better decision great so a lovely tool that you can use you can also obviously find attorneys conveyancing attorneys and find agents now if you are a real estate agent listening today this is the button you want your prospective customers to click on right find an agent so you want to make sure that you are listed right here you as an agency you as a private agent you want to make sure so if you select there, you'll see there's all the provinces on the how do your customers or prospective clients come to you and this is a great channel for you to do that that's one of the things that i love about this portal so if i know there are so many people going through you on a monthly basis this is where i want to be and then obviously the latest news if you really want to become an expert in your industry, an expert in your market, and an expert in your neighborhood, you want to make sure that you are up to date with the latest news. There is obviously unfortunate news as we speak um, in Kwasan Natal with the floods. And really our condolences to the family members um, of people who maybe lost loved ones. And also obviously the businesses that got damaged uh, during this during this floods. And we really trust and believe that you will be on your feet again as quick as possible. So I just wanted to mention that because that is one of the news sections on you at the moment, which is relevant because obviously you as a real estate agent needs to understand and needs to know these things. So the more you are in tune with the latest news, we know the better you can sell. So these are really great tools that you want to use. And then there's something else that private property has which is called sales floods. Now sales floods is a section in their online portal where you can then obviously market on their social media platforms to make sure that your um, referrals flooding, your leads flooding, and that you can sell a lot more by getting the right market, getting the right leads to you and making sure that you sell so much more. So how does the sales process work? is you have a lead, someone that maybe doesn't know about you yet, but you get it from someone else. You still need to get the hold of him, them, right? And then you want to turn them into a new opportunity. You're probably going to do a show house or a showing, or whether it's a virtual tour, you can also do that. And then obviously you're going to go through the rest of your process. But that first section, that getting a lead, whether they cold, a cold lead or not, right? Getting that lead into your sales funnel, into your sales pipeline, great place to do that is with these online platforms such as private property. Because you can find them here and it's a great place where you can market your services. So I spoke about three important online portals, right? The first one, TPN, and then Windeed and private property. You want to make sure that you use these kind of portals to really up your game. These portals will assist you in selling more by promoting your listings on their platforms, by getting the right information from TPN. It will put you into a position of an expert because you can now freely speak about what is the real um, vacancy rate in a specific area or in a specific city uh, in a specific uh, rental bracket, right? So if you have someone buying a place that will rent out normally for eight and a half thousand rand, you can specify to them, listen, here's the statistics from PP, uh, P, uh, TPN, sorry for that, from TPN, that will show you this is the vacancy rate. Right? So your risk for buying investment property here and renting it out isn't that high, even just after COVID, right? So this is information that's really important that will set you apart as an expert. It will also build your brand. If you advertise on these platforms like private property, because it will set you apart from the thousands of, thousands of agents that are out there. But you want to make sure that you put your listings towards the top, right? 
And then obviously you want to make sure that your status is lifted by really producing good results towards your prospective buyers. You pres I presume you have clients that are really happy. Get, get these guys to share testimonials with you that you can put on social media platforms, that you can incorporate into your marketing message when you invest in platforms like these to do your marketing for you, right? I mean, these sales floods is a great way to push your brand, to push your name onto these platforms where your market is to make sure that you do your things correctly. And then obviously with Windeed, you get more experienced expert advice, expert knowledge that you can then use to sell better. So it's going to help you understand your market, your industry a lot better. I did mention another thing that you can do if you really want to grow as a real estate agent or maybe as an investor. Now, we have in uh, the month of May, we have an exciting event in Cape Town that I want to share with you because yes, we use these online platforms to leverage our, our businesses and we use it to leverage our structure, but we want to make sure that we combine all of these things so that we can become better, right? If you really want to establish yourself as an expert in your industry, in your market, in your neighborhood, you want to use the right tools, but also use the right knowledge. So maybe you feel you don't really have all the knowledge that you can have, right? Because we are all students. We cannot stop learning. We always have to be learning. Now, there's a great event happening in Cape Town at the Radisson Blue Hotel at the waterfront, the 7th of May, 2022, which is and I'm about a week and a half's time, right? The Saturday, it's a full day event. It's from eight o'clock in the morning till five o'clock in the afternoon. And you don't want to miss out on this event. Now, this event is brought to you by Private Property and Prosperity Enterprises, where Jaco Groblar and I are the speakers, right? Where we share with you so many things about property. The way real, successful, wealthy, ultra-wealthy investors structure their property portfolios, right? There's specific structures that you can work with or that you should work with to make sure that you not only build and scale your property portfolio, but that you protect it as well for generations to come. And then we also teach you how to leverage the structure to make sure that you can scale your property portfolio unlimitedly, right? And it's companies such as private property that really has your back. They want you to succeed. That's why they built this online platform to make sure that you as an investor and you as an agent meet each other on this platform or at events like our seminar that you can join hands and build a better South Africa. If you are a real estate agent or you are invested tonight, I really want to encourage you so that we can see you at the property investment seminar the 7th of May at the Radisson Blue Hotel. There will be links below for everything that I spoke about tonight. So TPN's link will be at the bottom, Wendy's link will be at the bottom, and then Private Properties uh, link will be at the bottom as well. I presume the app link will be on there as well. Or you just go on to Play Store or maybe your Apple App Store and download that app as well. But also follow the link at the bottom for the Property Investment Seminar that will be in Cape Town now in May. And we would love to see you there. And you will learn everything about property that you need to know because there are more than one way to make money.
And then I just want to conclude this webinar by saying thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we really know that your best days are ahead of you. And as you apply yourself, we know that you will build a brilliant business. Thank you very much.